You might have heard it. Google Analytics as a standard setup has become illegal in numerous European countries. This means that either you need to set up server-side tracking or you need to find an alternative. And in this video, I have found five free alternatives to Google Analytics. Let's find the right one for you. The first alternative to Google Analytics is Mixpanel. And Mixpanel is something I use in my own startup at Planter.io. And I think Mixpanel is perfect if you have a SaaS business or if you have a business where it is that you need to track the same event multiple times because Mixpanel is a little bit difficult to set up. It is not as much plug and play as Google Analytics is, but if you have just a minimal amount of coding knowledge, then Mixpanel can be super easy for you to set up. You will benefit a lot from using Mixpanel because you can track each different interaction with your website. And that can be anything from clicking on a specific link or doing an action like filling out a formula. This you can track with Mixpanel, but it requires setup. And that's why I think Mixpanel is perfect for SaaS or other types of businesses where it's behind a login and you want to track all of these different types of actions. And then with all these actions, you can set up a dashboard and within the dashboard, you can track everything from signups to tasks created or the specific action that's been performed. Though I will say one thing I'm missing with Mixpanel, even though they have a beautiful design and that is more customizable dashboards, because right now they do have some sort of dashboard templates, but it's very locked. It's limited what I can do and what I can really interact with in the different functionality using Mixpanel. So I will say Mixpanel has two sides. The tracking side, they're very good and it's super easy for me to set up because I have coding knowledge. But when we interact with the platform, you are a little bit locked. You can track easily all of your events and you can also track web visitors and you can set up Mixpanel with Google Tag Manager, but it is mainly made to be set up with JavaScript to use their library. Now, User Maven is the second alternative to Google Analytics. And right away when you sign into User Maven, then it's very easy to see that this is perfect for marketing websites. So this means that if you generate leads or you just have a business website where it is that you promote yourself or your business, then User Maven is perfect for you because on the dashboard, you can see where all of your web visitors come from. It's easy to set up. You can do it with Google Tag Manager and it is as much plug and play as it is using Google Tag Manager. The only difference here is just that it is GDPR friendly and it is legal to use everywhere in all countries. With User Maven, you can also set up conversions, you can build funnels. But what I really like is a very simple feature with User Maven and that is I can very easily see where all of my traffic comes from. It is right there on the dashboard and I can see all the website referring traffic to my website. So either I can go and pursue them to see if we can benefit more from that or I just know it and then I can use that data to see furthermore who converts, what website converts best and that is perfect if you're running ads on Facebook, Google, maybe even Microsoft. Then you can see what is converting best directly in User Maven. You can also use User Maven if you have a SaaS because they do have product inside. I will say that it is mainly used for marketing websites but they also have functionality not as much and in the same way as we saw with Mixpanel, but you can also use User Maven where you can track the onboarding, the engagement, feature adoption and more. But again, this requires a more advanced setup. So if you're just a simple marketing website, then User Maven is a great choice because you can set it up easily with Google Tag Manager. The third alternative is Amplitude and they promote themselves as being the number one analytics for products. So this means that they are very good at user analytics. They are very good at feature adoption and overall just if you're running a product, they have everything incorporated into Amplitude from releases over to the same we saw with Mixpanel of where you can track specific actions. But the thing about Amplitude is that they don't track the same way as Mixpanel. Amplitude really wants to import data and that can be from Google Tag Manager, Analytics, even Mixpanel. So they take in the data and then they tell you based on the data, what are the users doing in your platform? 
So when it is you set up Amplitude, for me at least, it was a little bit advanced to figure out, but once I figured it out, it was up and running. And I will say you can use Amplitude both if you're a marketing website or if you're a product website, of course. So if you're running a SaaS, then Amplitude, you can benefit a lot from all of their features. But as a marketing website, you can also benefit from using Amplitude. You just need to use a different tool to pull in all of the action or pull in all of the data at least. They do have SDKs like Mixpanel, but that is what makes it advanced to set up. You can't just do plug and play using Google Tag Manager or something else. So the way that this is plug and play is that you import data from a different type of tool like Google Analytics or a third tool, but that makes this tool kind of a top of tool. So in the same way, I don't see it as valuable. That being said is that if you have this secondary tool to monitor everything for you, as soon as you start pulling data into Amplitude and you know how to work around into Amplitude, then you can pull a lot of great analysis in there and really benefit from their features, building up reports, building dashboards and using all of their pre-made templates. The fourth alternative is one of my favorite and that is Heap. I think one thing I will say right away with Heap is that they have auto tracking. And what that means is that they will track everything on your website. And when I say everything, I mean everything. And this is live tracking. So as soon as someone starts to fill out a formula on your website, you will be able to see every single step of the way. Maybe they're skipping a field, or maybe they just can't submit it, or they're not filling out enough in the different fields that you have set up as requirements. So in this way, I think it's really cool because we get so much data and so much analysis to do on all of this data to see how is our website doing or people interacting in the same way that we want them to interact with the website. And that is what makes Heaps perfect for a marketing website because it is literally plug and play. You add it to Google Tag Manager and then Heap is up and running. It tracks everything for you. And this is something super unique. I haven't seen this a lot of times in other analytics tools. So I think it's really interesting. On top of this very interesting feature, then they have a lot of great templates, a pre-made templates. And this is what I also really like about Heap. Because when you start using Heap, you don't know where everything is. You don't know exactly what you want to measure. Or maybe you do, but you don't know how to build the template. So with these pre-made templates, it makes it even easier for us to use Heap. And with these templates, Heap knows how to utilize all of the data coming in. Because if we in Heap go in and we check all of our events, we'll just have a long list of events. And sometimes it just doesn't make sense to look at it. But with these templates, it makes it so easy to look at. And you can even start analyzing all of your forms one by one to see how can you optimize them. Maybe it's the amount of seconds it takes to fill out the form you want to optimize or the way it's designed. The possibilities are really just endless with Heap. The last alternative is Pyrrhic Pro. And even though Pro is part of the name, then it's still free to use. First off, using Pyrrhic, I'm not a big fan of the design but they do have a lot of functionality. You get everything from heat maps, you get more SEO within the acquisition part. You can check your Google ads, how are they running, even downloads, how are people downloading all of the eBooks or the publications that you're doing and so much more. They also have video engagement analysis. So if you're into a huge amount of tools and you just want as much data as possible, but don't care much about the design, then you should definitely take a look at Pyrrhic.pro because it's also easy to set up, which makes it perfect for marketing websites. You can easily set it up by plugging in a small amount of code in your website or just use Google Tag Manager and then you're up and running. And then Pyrrhic Pro is basically tracking your entire website for you and you can just start working with the data. On top of that, then they have a lot of great templates that are easy to use. And comparing templates to Google Analytics, especially their fourth version, in their fourth version, you need to build everything from scratch. Google Analytics is just pulling in data. It's more or less the same we see with these tools. Though I will say that all of these tools has great templates for you to use. And all of these templates makes it even easier to use. But Pyrrhic Pro is definitely interesting if you just want tools and you know how to work the data yourself. 
when I first started doing research for this video, it really opened up my world of analytics tools. There are so many interesting tools out there and I've only shown you five tools, but this is definitely the most interesting and solid tools that I could find and test. Again, personally, I use Mixpanel for my own startup and that's because I can really customize it to my need. So I will say Mixpanel is perfect if you want a way to customize and do the tracking exactly how you want it. But if you're more like a plug and play type of person and you just want everything to run perfectly, you want all of the data possible and you want to do it through Google Tag Manager, then Heap is the choice that I would go with because not only do they track the different versions of someone come and visit your website, they clicked on this, but they track everything within that. How did the mouse move around? What did they click on in the specific forms? What did they almost, you can't see what they type in, but you can see how they interact with the field. Lastly, I need to give a shout out to User Maven because the way they easily highlight where all of the traffic comes from is just super beneficial. But let me know in the comment section, what analytics tool do you use for your website? And if you want to see a sixth option, then I have previously reviewed Plurdy, which you can watch up here. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.